All right, so we're in an art gallery. I guess we are taking chips through reality here. Anything behind us? Nope. Let's look around then. In the Rainforest by Michelle Daistfano. The artist was the only one featured in the fine art gallery for this exhi exhibition. The Birth of Pinocchio by Barnabas Maynard. The, mon or the monstrosity was the centipede of the exhibition. F or, frankly, I don't see any artistic merit in it at all. It's a hunk of fibrous crap as far as I'm concerned. Nothing to do with the theme of the exhibition. Still, it took someone a fair amount of time to make this, I'll admit that. Movement 2 by Jillian Kane. Never heard of her, and all I really see in this sculpture is a purple plastic seaweed. La Luna by Michelle de Stanfano. This is my favorite among her paintings. The Geno Art Gallery, just as I remember it years ago when my first work was exhibited here. How did I get here from the house? Well, the world works in mysterious ways. Let's go onward then. Actually, I should probably see if I can interact with anything, shouldn't I? Except I cannot go backwards anymore. Rotting Series 1 by Michelle de Stanfano. Supposedly a series that she did after exploring an abandoned school, nature reclaiming what man built. Rotting Series 2 by Michelle de, Stan or de Stefano. Supposedly a series that she did while exploring an abandoned school, nature reclaiming what man built. Yeah, that's that again. This room looks pathetic. The exhibition obviously didn't have as many entries as the organizers would have liked, and I was stupid enough to be one of them. There are brochures for the German Art Gallery. Okay. Gaius Payne, by my pain more like. I made this one of my I made this one out of my bronze alloy that shaped it to look like those broken Greek statues. It was one of my, it was my first ever entry to a public exhibition. I poured my heart and soul into it. I could tell what the organizers were thinking though. Just another statue from a young punk fresh out of art school. They gave the spotlight to another unknown just because his father was a professor or something or other. His entry was more enigmatic, they said. And to top it off, my then-girlfriend Linda, who modeled for this project, dumped me for another guy not long after. She was my first and only girlfriend. We'd only been together for two months. Well, since then, I promised myself never to get involved like that again. Okay. I could move it, but where, where would I have to move it to? But where would I have to move it to? Okay. Okay, so off from that, how about this? Hmm. It's a small fireman's axe. The axe, I mean, not the fireman. What? It's a small fireman axe. Okay. I, I get it now. What would I need an axe for? I think we're building up to something or another. The room is looking pathetic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about this way? Oh, it's another angle what you're just looking at. The birth of, uh, we already said that. Can I touch it? Knock, knock. It's as hollow as its sculpture's head. But it's bolted to the floor, so I can't move it. Nothing of interest here. The sculpture is bolted to the floor. It won't open when I go near it. The sensor must be off. I find it. I need to find a manual override. Okay, I guess I'm back here. Let me feel everything. It's too big for me to take down from the wall. It's too big for me to try and take down from the wall. There's not a speck of dust or anything. Let's talk to stuff then. If art speaks to the soul, then this hunk of junk is saying nothing at all. I wouldn't quite know what to say to a sculpture like that. What are you doing here, painting? Oh, nothing, just hanging around. Ha ha ha. It's deadly quiet. I don't think there's anyone here I can call out to. Well, I have a hoo 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 punny. Punny, get it. Now, I'm not making that terrible joke again. <laughs> it won't talk to me. If I want information, I need to pick up a brochure. Okay, if we look at it, then try to talk to it. Will you be satisfied to talk to it? There's no point. Oh, well, there's always a point, my dear. How about talking to the fire axe? There's no one to talk to here. Yep, alright, if you say so. Okay, hands on the brochure, then. Get out of here. Oh. A freaking ugly brochure for an equally ugly exhibition. That's weird. Someone scribbled on it with the blue marker, Get out of here. Exhibition. Uh, let's see what it says to the left there. 
Homey et Nature, a collection of various media by some of the brightest young artists of our generation. That's what says below and below. It says, Homey et Nature aims to explore the dynamics between human uh, uh, intervention and nature's power to reclaim what is lost. Someone's ran over the floor plan. Looks like a lot of directions. Could it have been Gillespie? Or Gillespie? I don't know how you say his name yet, to be honest. There's a lot I'd like to say to the writer of this for sure. None of it good. Okay. One. Okay, so I kind of see what's here because there's numbers on everything in the art gallery. The, my, the sculpture with seven on it has been marked out to be one. And the one that's one has been marked out to be nothing. The one which I keep on calling ugly. And my own sculpture is being given a one. Okay, uh, did Alice do that? I'll leave this here. Okay. What is this here? Oh, okay, here we go. Alice was here. Uh, okay. What, why is it clicking so fast? Uh, yeah, this seems to be an error or something because it really is making everything go by super quickly. I don't... Yeah, anyways, uh... I will catch you guys back. I'm gonna see if I can fix this weird mouse issue. Anyways, I'll, yeah, I'll be right back. Catch you guys next time. Save where my main files so I don't do go through that again. Catch you guys soon.